Hello, welcome back to Life My Wife. Dorothy has a project that she has been showing me how to do, and we're going to make one. Okay, this is the beginning of one, and it's a little booklet, and when you open it up, we have little pockets. So in this little pocket, you can put tissues. In this little pocket, you can put cough drops. In this little pocket, I made it so that it opens this way. We could put uh, fancy paper, just use your imagination and in this little pocket we could put a little storybook or a little book or mm -hmm. actually I found some really cool oh that sounds silly but a uh, hot cold pads that fit just perfectly in here mm -hmm. and well it's called a wellness booklet right yeah but it doesn't have to be used for a wellness wellness booklet. it can be yeah. used for crafting or whatever yeah so we can put if you're doing something for a crafty person you can put all sorts of paper and paraphernalia in here and in yeah. there and in there and yeah it's always nice to have tissues and chapstick band-aids yeah. like you can just kind of let your imagination go wild yeah. and this has to be embellished a lot more yeah. i've just got the start of it done and we are about to make one so, so i'm gonna pan the camera down and you're gonna watch dorothy and she'll tell you what she's doing as she's doing it all right so this is a 7 by 12 piece of paper. So you're going to need to cut it from a 12 by 12. And the first thing we're going to do is we are going to score at 5 and 3 eighths. And then we are going to score again at 6 and 5 eighths. So now... Once I fold this, you will see that this is the beginning of our booklet. There we go. We have a little booklet. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to find the next thing. <laughs> and I am working on cutting out this for her to embellish. Bye. Okay. Okay, this is not the right one. What is this one? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I wasn't as ready as I thought. So this one is four by three and a half and this will make just so I can show you this will make this little pocket right here and uh, it doesn't make the little cap that I put on it that's just a separate little piece of paper okay so four by three and a half we're gonna score at one half and one One half and one and three and three and a half. And then we're going to turn it and we're going to go to the two and a half and the three. Okay, so now you can see that I have four little squares in this corner and I am going to cut them out. And this will make our little pocket once we get it together here. So here we go. All right, so there you can see I've cut the four little corner edges out. And now I'm making that little cough drop pouch. All right, so here's my fold. And fold again. Hold. 
again. I don't want to scrape off the bling that's on this. So yeah, exactly. I'm still getting covered. It's like glitter paper. So it's yeah, it's got a bit of glitter on it. Yeah. Okay, so now you can see that it has made a little pocket. And once we put glue tape all around, just at this line, the first line you come to, you put it right along that first line. And the glue tape is around. Yeah, I saw you put it on the table. <laughs> It's under, it's by your phone. Okay. There we go. Okay. So, actually, I have to back up. Okay. So, now I have my cover, the base of the book, and I want to put a cover page on it. Right. So, we are going to use this on the front and on the back. And what did you cut those up? And these ones... I have to look at my cheat sheet. These ones are five by six and three quarter. So when I put them on the page, there is just a little bit of an overlap. Kind of just a bit of a border, right? Eh? Yeah, it just gives it a bit of a border. So that's not glued on yet, but it gives you an idea. And you're gonna need four of those. So you put them on the inside and you put them on the outside. Are you happy with this cutout? I am loving it. Did you want me to bling it up? We'll bling it later. Perfect. We could probably cut this while I put this tape on. Do you want to stop? Yes. Hi there. Here we are again. We took a pause to get some bling and stuff on some of our pages. So this is our book cover and we're going to be putting this piece on here. Reiterate what the sizes and of, this one is are. five by six and three quarters. So we've put tape on the back and the book itself is is seven by twelve. And you need four of the five by six and three quarters. That's right. Because you put them on the outside and then you put them on the inside. Right. Okay. Okay. And I have to make sure I get this the right side up. Huh? I wiggled. Okay. So. So now we have... Our cover page on and look at that isn't that gorgeous it's gorgeous we just I love that. blinged it up a little bit mm -hmm. and this is from some cardstock and this is going to be the back i think i'm going to put it like that yes so there's that one and see how it's blinged so this is awesome mm -hmm. and it's all taped and ready to go two I have forgotten to take one of the edges off, and it's a little tricky afterwards, so that's why I'm counting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now we want to we want to try and line it up as best we can. And I just had another slot. I'm on a wheeling. Um, computer chair that's what you hear when I'm okay so now this is the back isn't that pretty that is gorgeous I just and love that. I was going to put one of these in there but I'm now thinking that maybe I'll put one of those in there just to pop mm -hmm. so I'm just going to do the inside now so on the inside I have chosen these two and again you're going to put tape on because I didn't. And so we we tape the outer edge. Now you can use glue if you like. I find the tape works just as efficiently. I like it for larger pieces. Smaller pieces, I prefer the glue. Yeah. I am more of a tape person myself. 
and you can tell who is more efficient at this because Kelly already has hers done and I'm still fighting with my <laughs> my rubber fingers and I haven't even got the fourth piece on and she's already peeling so what can I say and I know I've shown this in a couple other um, projects but this is our liquid glue of choice it is amazing for a lot of things you don't even need a hot glue when you've got this it's incredible have you have you found that you like it as much oh i love it yeah it's just great i'm not burning my numb fingers <laughs> yeah yeah and it's it's oh i can't believe it yeah it's great glue okay so so the front has the um, polka dots. Polka dots. So I'm going to put the polka dots on the inside cover because then it's not the first thing you see. Mm -hmm. And it just breaks it up a little bit even though it looks like it wouldn't. But it does. Mm -hmm. Thank you, ma'am. And then I'm putting this pretty other paper on this side. I'm going to put, can you do this? Mm -hmm. Okay, now for the spine, I am going to put some of this pretty stuff on the outside. And pretty gonna, print. Pretty print. Okay, so it's <laughs> one by six and a half is what I need. And I'm going to... I'm going to give you that. Oh, we're trading back and forth. So, okay, so this is one by six and a half to make uh, that center spine area. And you kind of want to put it right in the middle and hopefully get it about even with your other pieces. But this is not an exact science. It's not that kind of experiment. So we, we just eyeball it. And I love that contrast. Look at that. You said six and a half, right? A six and three quarter? Five by six and three quarter. I'm doing a one. No, one by six and three. <laughs> I'm going to mess her up real, really bad. Okay, so we're going to put this really pretty little piece on the outside in just a second. And then we're going to put the pockets on. But it's just easier to put the one on. Like before we get that far. Mm -hmm. And there's our one. See, he's not going to be pretty. And that will tie the inside and the outside all together. So that's just a good thing. Now, don't worry about it going over the edge too much because this tape is, you just fold it over. Oh, yeah. That's the beauty of it. go just get this off. I'm so excited it's coming along really nicely all right so you just fold that over and here we go line it all up in the middle of your fold and it just kind of pulls this one just I just love that Mm -hmm. It just kind of pulls it together because it's got the pink of the flowers mm -hmm. and it's got the green from a... So this is how it looks so far. We have our outside cover with the spine. You open it up and we have the polka dot and the little flowers and then the back cover has the pretty little flowers again. So now we're going to put on the tissue cover. Now... We are going to decorate this, it's just not there yet. So, what we did is, this is the three, three by five? That's not a five. This is the, yeah it is, three by five. <laughs> it looked bigger. 
Okay, three by five, and it is scored at one half inch and one on two ends. Now here in Canada, our tissues must be a different shape to the ones in the States because this actually doesn't really fit the tissue very well, um. but it does work. So I have not changed it. Now, when you're putting this down, you want to make sure that you get it on as straight as possible. So when you put this other edge down, you're checking to see if you have it straight. And I don't. But it's it's down. So that's <laughs> it's close. It that that's okay. So now we have a pocket for a tissue. And now we've taken these uh three and a half by four pockets. And we've scored them at one half and one, one half and one, one half and one. And then you end up with four little squares in these two corners that we cut out. And then we're going to start this one by making the pocket. I'm wondering if I should have put two on these. We'll find out. No, I think it'll be. I think it'll be okay. All right. So now you want to line up this corner to be as straight as possible. Kind of stick it together. I put my finger under, and then same with this corner. We're just trying to make it. Okay, so the, the glue tape is along the edge of that first uh, score. So now you can see that we're going to have a little pocket. And I'm going to put it up here. Oh, sorry. And now I'm, I'm just using my scoring tool to make sure that it's stuck down. And I'm gonna do the same with this other piece here, except I'm gonna put it down further. Gotta love glue tape. And we get our blue tape at Dollar Tree. Yeah, I, I like the quality of their yeah. product better. Yeah. Well, you were being silly and using those dispenser ones until I showed you how much more you get on these rolls. You're right. <laughs> Huge difference, folks. Yeah. <laughs> it pays to be in the know. Okay, so you're lining up these corners and you want it to be more of a and it can go i'm putting it down low so we can stick to oops let's try and get it more rectangular here there we go and then again just use your scoring tool and look at we've got two little pockets and a tissue holder here and what I could do is I could make a little bigger pocket for here. And now we're going to put this other pocket on. Where is it? I don't know. Me either. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be seven by four. I don't know. This one? No. We'll bring you back as soon as we get organized here. <laughs> Okay. All right. We're so, back. We found our paper. All right. So we're going to make this one. Uh, this piece is four by seven and it is going to make a larger pocket on that other page. So I am scoring it at one half and one on three sides, one long and two of the short sides.
And I am loving this ball scoring tool because I tend to press too hard. Where did you get that one? It was given to me with a bunch of stuff. Oh. Yeah. And I love it. Okay. So now you can see that there are four squares in this corner and four squares in this corner and we cut those out. <laughs> and I generally cut it on the inside yeah, of the scoring edge. Yeah. So, and then we'll take this and put this down. And now we fold it over. So excited! I think she's going to love this. Mm -hmm. And who are you making this one for again? I am making this little pocket letter, booklet, thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Um, I am making this as a birthday card for my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. Can I get you to put tape on it? I get it. Okay. So, you can see here that we have this extra little pocket that we're going to do something with. Bear with me. And this pocket is going to go down here. Now this enables us to put something very tall in here. We could put paper, we could put a little book, put a little diary, like we can just let your imagination go. You can yeah, like a word search book or something. A word search, yeah. So um, I did this project for my husband and my um, girlfriend's husband, they are one day and one year apart. <laughs> and uh, so it was lots of fun to make these little things for them. <coughs> and that's where I found out that you can buy at Dollar Emma <coughs> a really cute... Um, and it's just the right size, uh, hot or cold pack. Oh, you're so cool. Look at that. So see, we've got the edges all lined up and now we're going to set it on our page. I do this side first and then this side. I'm not straight, but it's close enough. Now, obviously, we are not done, but you got the idea. We have this lovely pocket here, two little pockets here, and this can slip through uh, tissue paper. We could actually even put like a brush and comb in here. And yeah. If we had a little extra pocket down here, it would sit. Mm -hmm. Like, just let your imagination go of what you can put in these little booklets. Mm -hmm. Now, when I wanted to mail them, because <clears throat> I did this for some ladies in my craft group, what I did is I opened it up and I mailed it flat in a large envelope and it did go through just because I was very careful with my embellishments. Exactly. Like I wanted to embellish and I did, but I made sure that they were flatter embellishments so that it would, it would fit in that slot that the mail requires that you put it through. Exactly. So it can be done and it was like, 295 or something 298 to, to mail these so that's in Canada. A in Canada so that's a really awesome thing mm -hmm. uh, but I stuffed my husband's because obviously I wasn't mailing it to him and uh, so yeah so mm -hmm. there we are we have this beautiful little booklet now what you can do is you can also and I wouldn't even do that with this one is you can put uh, a ribbon around and tie it I wouldn't want to do that but what I could do if I wanted to if I found some ribbon I really liked I could use a brad yeah and attach the brad with yeah it would fit see mm -hmm. you could put it right right where my fingers are exactly and then you could just put a little bow on it so there are things you can do to make it look really pretty now it's only half done because we still have the inside but we didn't want to bore you with the <laughs> Yeah, details. like now it's it's decorating it and stuffing it. Yeah. But that's the construction of it. 
Yeah. So it's just such a fun project. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to do this for my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, there you've got a tutorial with Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you all again on another crafting day. Bye-bye.